Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful multi-layer colorful earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. And I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I post new tutorials and you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro because I have timestamps and go to the work itself. But I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is. I'm so grateful for these actions. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads, yellow, orange, black and green. You could use other colors of your choice and you could use 10 on seed beads if you want instead of 11 on's. Here I'm using earring findings in this old gold color. This is Nymon Island Thread and it is size D, so the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to pick up first 8 yellow beads. Okay and I have my 8 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. When I pull I pay attention to be between those two beads where I started the knot from and now this is what I have. Okay guys and in my next step what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to pick up three black beads okay three of them and I'm going back in circle through this bead that I'm exiting out of. You see here I have something like a loop between my beads and I pull. Then I will go through two beads in this direction, two yellow beads around the circle. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to pick up three black beads. I go back in circle through this yellow bead, just like this. And then I go through the following two yellows. I take three blacks again. And I'm going to do the same thing. Go through this yellow and this time, just to save time, I'm also going through the following two yellows. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up again the last three black beads. And I go back like this. Okay. Now guys, what I want to do is go through this black bead in this direction. And now I want to flip my work. It's not obligatory, guys. But I just feel better when I work in this direction. Okay, and what I'm going to pick up next are five green beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going back. I'm skipping the one that's on my way this one here and I'm going through the following black okay now I have this and I pull then what I want to do 
is go through the next black that is closest to my needle okay then I'm going to pick up again five greens okay I have five I go through this black and through the following black just to save time just to have one movement less okay then again I'm going to pick up five I skip one and go through the next two I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most of the three blacks that I added previously and again five skip this one and go through the following okay guys now I have this beautiful element and I will go through all of those green beads through all of them only through the greens and I'm going to pick up three green beads again and I'm going in the next green and by the way through all of the five greens that are on my way okay through all of the five I'm surrounding my work with green beads then again I take three and I go in the next green beads and I'm going in all of the five of them all the five that I added in my previous step and then I need three and I go here through the next green beads through all of the five I add three and I go here again this time guys at my last step I'm pulling tight and I'm going through three green beads of the fives so I'm exiting out of this bead that is sticking out the most which is the middle bead of the five beads here I have two I have two and this is the middle one and this is the one that is sticking out the most and now I'm going to take a black five orange beads and a black you see what I have a black five orange beads and a black and I'm going back here through this green one just like this now in my next step I'm going through four green beads in fact first I'm going through three and then I'm going through the fourth one which is the bead that is sticking out the most this is the middle of the third be three beads that I added in my previous row and I'm taking one black five orange beads and then again one black bead okay this is what I have the same thing and I'm going back in circle through the one that is sticking out the most then I go here in this direction through two beads then I go through two more beads in this direction exiting out of the bead that is sticking out the most or the middle one of the three beads that I added in my previous row and now I'm taking the same sequence black five orange beads and a black and I'm going back here through this green bead okay then in my next step I'm going through four beads because my goal is to exit out of this bead that is sticking out the most okay and again a black five orange beads and a black okay and I'm going back like this then through four beads I'm exiting out of this and I will repeat the same thing until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last sequence of beads 
of the same beads and what I want to do now is go through all of those beads that I just added go through all of them well not through all of them only through the orange beads here in this direction don't go through the black only through the orange okay and I'm pulling okay and uh, you should tighten it up as well okay now guys what I need to do is flip my work you could definitely go in the other direction but this is the direction that is more comfortable for me so I take one orange and I go here through these orange beads okay then I go through those here in this direction and I take one orange and I go through all of the five orange beads that are coming on my way all of the five so now one more and this row is really easy and really pleasant because everywhere I'm adding just one orange bead I'm going through the five beads and I'm adding one orange okay I think you got the idea and I will finish this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last orange bead okay this time I'm not going through all of the orange beads but I'm going to one two three beads in this direction or through the bead that is sticking out the most and what I need to take is a black five yellows and a black this is what I have and I'm going back through this orange again okay now in this direction I'm going through three beads like this I want to be at the angle here and I'm going to add a black a yellow and a black at the inner angle I'm adding just three beads and I'm going back through this bead here that I'm exiting out of in circle the same way like I'm going in circle here okay now what I do is that I go through four beads now I'm going through two then I'm going through the next one which is the third and I'm at the outer angle and what I need is a black five yellows in a black and I'm going back like this through this angle bead okay now I will make the element at the inner angle and in order to do this I'm going through three beads in this direction and I'm going to take a black a yellow and a black and I'm going through the same bead that I'm exiting out of in circle like this making a cross of four or a right angle with and now I want to go through three beads in this direction I went through one now I'm going through two and this is the angle that I'm forming and now I need a black five yellows and a black okay this is what I have I'm going back here through this angle bead in circle and I will show you one more time the inner angle going through three beads 
at this level I'm always going through three beads at this row I mean and I need a black a yellow and a black and I'm going back here through this bead then through three and I'm adding black five yellows black and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row which are black yellow and black and now what I'm going to do is go in this direction I want to go through all of the yellow beads here all of the five yellows and exit here now I'm going to take one yellow and fill in the gap by going through the yellow then I'm taking one more yellow and fill in this gap by going through the next five yellows first I went through two then through the other three then I take one yellow and go through the following yellow and this row guys is really easy and really pleasant because I'm just filling the gaps with one bead everywhere and I'm connecting this beautiful yellow row just like this okay and I think you got the idea that is why I will continue this off camera and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and I will go through the next two beads in this direction after I add it okay uh, this is this middle bead that I added and I'm one two three beads away from it and now what I'm going to take are three green beads okay and I'm going back like this through this bead and I also went through the following now I will go through this angle bead here okay now I'm exiting out of the angle bead and after that I'm going through the following bead and now I'm going to take an orange a black and an orange and as I'm exiting through this bead I'm going backwards through two beads through this one and through the angle bead I'm going back in circle then again through this yellow that is just after the angle and through the orange now I'm going to take three orange beads and again I'm skipping this black in the middle I'm going through the orange through the yellow and through the angle one more time okay now I have this and now I'm going through the next three and through the fourth one that is sticking out the most and I'm going to take three green beads and I'm going back in circle through this top bead here now I'm going to repeat this process and in order to do this I'm going at the angle so I'm going through four beads okay then I will go through the one that is just after the angle and I'm taking an orange a black one and an orange go back here through this yellow and through the angle bit and pull then again through the yellow that's after the angle then through this orange bit 
and three more orange beads okay go back through the orange go back back through the yellow and go back through the angle okay then as i'm here if i go through four beads I am exiting out of this one that is sticking out the most and in fact this is the angle bead and I'm going to take three green beads I'm going back through this one at the angle at the outer angle then I go through four beads and I'm at the inner angle but as I'm here I want to go through one more bead one bead after the angle and I'm going to take the same thing, an orange, a black and an orange. Go back here through these two. Then I'm turning my work and going back through this yellow. Then back through the orange. And I need three orange beads. And I go like this here. And then again through all of those beads exiting out of the one that's sticking out the most. Okay. And I think you got the idea. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind and repeat it from here. And I'll meet you when I'm ready. Okay, guys. And I'm here where I'm just adding my last three orange beads from this row. And I have my last flower. And now what I need to do is go here in this direction. And I'm exiting out of this yellow bead and then through these two green beads. And if you want, you could reinforce your work here around the edges, the edges to make it stronger. But uh, what I want to do now is attach my earring finding and how I do this I take one black bead my earring finding and one more black bead and I will go back in circle through this green one here just like this. Now I will reinforce I will reinforce as many times as I would like to and now I'm going through some beads in this direction and what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following beads here in this direction and I cut my thread okay guys so now my multi-layer colorful earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages i will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for liking sharing and commenting you don't know how much of a support this is and you could check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me